you know, the great thing about IMPA, you know, Reg Outcome, it was a global study, right? It was a very well conducted study, um, and uh, over 7,000 patients. And as a result, right, not only we have great primary data, but there was an opportunity to go back and keep learning from that data. So um, one of the uh, two studies, that two analyses that we're presenting here at ADA uh, are focused on meet and met needs. And that is uh, chronic kidney disease and heart failure. So let me tell you about uh, the first of the studies, right? What we know is that when we look at EMPA, when we look at Jardines and the benefit on new onset or worsening of renal or kidney uh, disease, right? The effects were independent of cardiovascular risk at baselines, right? In other words, when we're talking about A1C, when we're talking about lipids, right? When we're talking about blood pressure, independent that those risks were controlled or not, the effect of Jardins on a chronic kidney disease was consistent, was positive. So that's, that's, that's one of the studies. Uh, the second one is that we look at hospitalization for heart failure and CV death. And at baseline, we look at, we really took a look at the different risk that the patient would have from a low risk to high risk and whether the effect was consistent, right, for each of those patients and, and across the continuum. And we observe, uh, fortunately, that the effect of Jordan was consistent across, you know, whether, you, whether you're low risk or you're high risk, the, the effect on the, the positive effect of redu reducing the risk of hospitalization for heart failure and CV death was consistent. Now, you would think, why is this important? Um, you know, renal disease, right, is it's, it's a big unmet need. And 15% of the U.S. population uh, have, have, have renal disease and the number one reason of renal failure. Heart failure is also a big unmet need. Uh, here in the U.S., we have almost 6 million people. And unfortunately, it's a disease that has a high morbidity and mortality. So if you think about that 50%, 5-0, of people that are diagnosed with heart failure with, will die within five years. So, as you can imagine, you know, it's a big and mad need. And uh, in a way, it's very reassuring because, as you know, we, you know, this is, as I clarified before, this was you know, sub-study, post hoc studies, you know, after EMPA-RECAM results. But in a way, they're very reassuring, very informative, because we are doing the CV outcome studies for heart failure, right, and also for, for kidney, right, the Emperor program and the EMPA kidney program. So in a, in a way, this is something really relevant for, for, the, for the medical audience.